this is your reading. If it doesn't resonate, check your moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Keep in mind the energies are fluid, so it can go vice versa. Don't get hung up on the signs or genders. You guys, I know the readings have been crazy weird and everything without the cards, but I am trying something new without the cards, of course. I know some of you may have an issue with that, but I just want to channel, okay? Um, so, I apologize for the inconvenience, all right? So, let me jump in. Let's get into the energy. As I was channeling on your energy, Cancer, and those of you who are new, please take advantage of your free personal readings down below um, after you watch this video, I guess. Um, they are free. All you do is enter your birthday there at those websites, and you're going to get a video report all about you. It's pretty awesome. Highly recommend the top two links, okay? Again, those are free personal readings, all right? So check those out, all right? And, you know... It's crazy. Like, I was getting the star energy for you guys. Maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius. I also heard Leo, okay, for some of you. Um, since Leo is also ruled by the star, okay, it's ruled by um, the sun, which is also a star. So I was getting that energy very strongly. And I don't know if it's because you're in Leo season, but I am just getting, like, some of you could be dealing with Leos or you could be bumping into a lot of Leos or something like that. I don't know why I'm hearing this, but... Um, maybe your girlfriend's a Leo or you're surrounded by a lot of nieces and nephews and they're Leos. I don't know, but there's an energy around um, that's going to be pre prevalent, prevalent to my Cancerians, okay? That's uh, circulating around the energy of fire, um, star, and uh, being in the spotlight. And it's not just because we're in Leo season. I am just getting for a lot of you... Um, it's interesting because you're actually Leo's shadow side, right? You are, if you think about what the way the wheel is and how the signs are um, placed on the wheel, Cancer is behind Leo. You fall in the fourth house. Leo is the fifth house. So if you're dealing with a Leo, this this might be for you because I just keep hearing the star. Um, but I am just getting a lot of energy around inspiration, okay? It does definitely just mostly about the inner energy, um, about serenity, about healing. Um, they want you to know your guides, the universe, your ancestors. They want you to know that they have your back, okay? Um, this is a period of healing, inspiration, and serenity for you Cancerians. Um, you can trust in yourself and... And you can for you can trust in yourself not only that but you can um trust forces beyond yourself okay um lending a, a, a helping hand whenever you need it only if you ask for it they are available okay i feel like you have to ask for these um for help from your ancestors they will not in intervene unless you ask um, but I am just getting a lot of energy around success and abundance. A lot of you guys are working on new projects and I feel like there are people watching. Okay. Um, again, that could be just the star energy that I keep hearing, but, um, they want you to know that, um, others are drawn to your authenticity, authenticity at this time, your creative spirit and your individuality. So a lot of you, I don't know if you're in the spotlight. I am getting a lot of Elon Musk energy <laughs> again. I'm just hearing like somebody who's just filled with ideas, innovation. I also heard Gemini, maybe you're a Gemini Cancerian cusp. Um, they um, ruled the mind, so it's it's uh, it's mercurial. Um, Gemini is a mercurial ruled sign, so it's very much about the mind and thinking and um, analysis, like Virgo. Um, so you could be connecting with, with one of those signs, or you could be working with one of those signs. Um, I think I got this before with you guys. It's really weird. I, I think I even mentioned Elon Musk. So maybe this energy is circling back around to remind you that this is still on the table. There's an opportunity that's going to come back around. I also just heard Seven of Cups, Cancer, which for me is you, okay? So um, I also heard Libra. So maybe deal with Libra uh, who has water in their moon. Or a moon, a, 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 a um, I'm sorry, uh, a, a Pisces. I'm hearing Pisces with a water, um, Libra in their rising or in the moon. Um, I'm hearing this person's gonna circle back around. I feel this is romantic. Okay, I'm getting it's a Queen of Cups, you guys. I'm hearing she's romantic or he's romantically invested into this connection. So an opportunity is coming back around for some of you, um, in order to rekindle something you, um. I am hearing revisit feelings, old feelings. So a lot of uh, nostalgia this person has. This is someone from your past. I know some of you guys are like, I don't want a past person. But this is like a friend for some of you. Others of you, this is a romantic interest who you've never been with. 
but they know you from like childhood okay so um so it's not necessarily a bad thing because some of you are like oh but i don't want any of my exes i'm not talking about your exes boo i'm not talking about your exes um talking about people who have always had an interest in you but you were always on someone else's arm shit <sighs> How, if I had a nickel, <laughs> like I'm just saying, some of you don't stay single long enough for this person to catch up with you. I'm just saying, they've always had a thing for you. So this person could come in and be like, hey, what's up with you? You know, I've been, you know, watching you and they ain't going to tell you that how long they've been watching you, though. They're just going to be like, <laughs> it's going to seem really odd. I feel like for some of you, they've already told you this and it was weird. Um, others of you, I'm getting it's a twin. So I'm hearing an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a twin flame, or a fire sign, okay? But I'm getting like you're moving away from a fire sign, okay? Moving towards an earth sign, or you're moving towards an air sign. Yeah, like not in, not in that way, just like I'm getting like as... I'm getting after a period of healing and being single, you move towards this person, okay? But this is after having a your prior relationship with a water, oh, I'm sorry, um, I'm hearing um, earth or fire sign, okay? Um, yeah, I'm getting an air sign could be coming in. Okay, yeah, I'm. it could be an air sign or an earth sign another water sign like yourself i heard scorpio okay yeah um i'm sorry i just like spaced out right now <laughs> oh my god that happens sometimes oh yeah definitely one of those signs okay so um back to what i was saying this person that whoever it is that's coming in i feel like you guys are connected in the 5d this person is very intuitive they have a lot of compassion for you cancer i feel like they've grown up with you or they they went to school with you. They could have went to college with you. Some of you, this person went to elementary school with you. Or you're in a couple grades. Um, you're a couple years older than them. You may not went to school with them, but maybe your siblings did. Weird, huh? Um, but this is like someone who you would compare to the high priestess. This is also how they could see you, Cancer. Which doesn't surprise me at all because you guys are Cancerians, right? You are very intuitive. You're also ruled by the moon. So, um, which is a very... I would say very like mysterious energy <laughs> it's a very mysterious energy right because it's hidden right moon is about feelings that we don't show right whereas the sun is very like look at me look at me look at me right and that's where I'm like that's why I'm thinking maybe you guys are connecting to your opposite or maybe you're connecting to a Leo because I'm getting like Leo because they're the sun you're the moon right you are the shadow side they are the sunshine right um your secrets and they're just very blunt and open. Um, like, you guys have that polarity, right? Maybe you're dealing with someone who is a Leo, or they have a lot of Leo placements, or this is you. Maybe you have a lot of Leo placements. I am just getting, though, whoever you are, though, um, there's a lot of energy around being emotionally stable, and whoever this person is that's coming in, they're going to embody this energy. I feel like a lot of you guys could be already embodying this because you're attracting this into your life, right um and you cannot like 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 if you are manifesting something it is because that is something you are already or you are um this is something a part of you wants okay so like you either already embodying this shit or you are are you going towards that okay so whatever's coming towards you is already within yourself right so a lot of you guys at this time i just feel like you need to give yourself a round of applause because whoever this is they are gonna check off all the boxes all right in terms of what you want in a person what you what you desire in a sex partner what you desire in a partner period in terms of you know co-parenting and handling the finances and the bills whatever um i am getting that the there's a lot of if this is another water sign like yourself you guys are you guys might clash um in the middle i'm hearing in the beginning it's going to be very moist what okay moist um, I don't know why I chose that word. Don't ask. I don't know why. It just came out that way. In the beginning, it's going to be very moist. So a lot of watery, a lot of emotions, okay? Um, a lot of sex is what I'm also hearing. Like, um, not a lot of sex. I feel like you both are demisexual, which means you guys are very um, withdrawn when it comes to 
getting involved sexually until you are spiritually connected to an individual but once you get there oh my god slippery i'm hearing slip and slide honey okay <laughs> splish splash i was taking a bath okay all on saturday night uh is today saturday <laughs> A rub a dub, a relaxing in the tub. Somebody's gonna be, I'm. Um, let's just say this: it's gonna be wet. Okay, it's gonna be slippery down there. I feel like you're gonna be surprised, or they're gonna be very surprised at as to how turned on you are, or how turned on they are, because they don't get like that with everybody, right? Um, I just feel like you guys are very desirable at this time. This person's going to kind of know wh what bush, what, what, uh, what bush, my God, all the sexual innuendos, like, come on now, what bushes to push. I was going to say buttons to push, but it bushes came out. So which bushes to push, <laughs> you guys are making fun of me. I can feel it like damn girl, like you're nasty. We know what your mind is. I mean, damn, it's been like six months. Okay. I have not been with anybody in six months okay um it's been a long time i know it's i need to go out and get me some girl i need to go out there and brace break me off a piece of that <laughs> get cat bar <laughs> oh my god anyways the element of water though flows between you and this person so don't be surprised if you guys are both very emotional you share a lot of past history uh, maybe you guys have you know a certain um, upbringing that was very similar I don't know there's a lot of similarities between you two as well maybe you guys are opposites like maybe it's a Capricorn shit I don't know or maybe they are um, like you're ruled by the moon like you're ruled by the moon they're ruled by the Sun Leo um, also, I'm getting Neptunian, so, like, you know, I also, like, like, Pisces is ruled by Neptune. Like, I also get that energy, too. There's a lot of similarities in Neptunian and in the moon. A lot of illusion there, so I feel like it could be a Pisces for some of you. Others of you, I just feel like it's just the energy, okay? This person's going to fulfill all your fantasies. They're going to be able to read your mind. It's going to be like they're living in your head, okay? Um... I am too getting like this person's a dreamer okay they have they're very psychic um and I, like again i'm going back to the queen of cups this per, the queen of cups is all about healing past wounds okay um with kindness they they're very good at like the queen of cups is very she wears her heart on her sleeve right she's very compassionate she has an open heart she's very emotional though she she can feel everything and it's because she's already been through it right um they just want you to know, though, like, allowing self-expression is a great gift to, gift to yourself. It's a gift you could give not only to yourself but to the universe. So if you are feeling like you can't be vulnerable with somebody, do it anyways. I feel like some, you know, Cancerians, you guys are deemed very very sensitive and i know that's just a, that's just a stigma that's just a stereotype and all that but i feel like genuinely like it's it's for the most part it's correct you know because you are a water sign you guys feel very deeply that's very accurate um if you get emotional if you feel like you're being um taken for granted with someone pull back your energy i know that's really easy i know it's easier than said but um easier than done right either said easier than said than done but um yeah pull back your energy when it comes to like being vulnerable like i'd give someone a little bit and see how they react and then if they if they don't, like i know it's like so people will say that's terrible to test people test your friends but you gotta test people man you can't just jump in you can't when you go and you go swimming you dip your toe in you don't just jump in unless you're like me <laughs> i am a free spirit i jump in but I feel like for you Cancerians, those of you who are delicate flowers, I would just test the waters first, okay? I know it's your territory and all that, but maybe you're going to get in too deep and you don't want to, you know? So test it out first. I also want you guys to, like, take advantage of, like, um, I don't know, at this time, like, your abilities, okay? Um, your abilities are very strong. We're moving into Earth pretty soon which i think you guys are really good at like i don't know what it is like i feel like you earth you and earth signs are really good at being in that energy because you're both feminine that energy is feminine water and earth is very feminine fire and air is very masculine right so i feel like when we move into um virgo season i feel like you guys are going to be feeling very grounded in your emotions i also feel like too like with um 
whoever's coming in, they're going to feel the same way too. I feel like, again, I keep hearing the middle. See, the beginning is going to be very wet. I hear wet. So you could have just met this person during Cancer season or Leo season. And it could have been sort of troublesome on the heart is what I'm hearing. I get a lot of, I'm getting a lot of heart chakra activation. I'm even hearing purging. So, and um, for those of you who are dealing with the twin flame, I am also hearing like, if this is a twin, they're coming back around to sort of um, revisit old arguments you have had. Oh yeah, you guys, you have shared some, um, you were very vulnerable with this person and they hurt your feelings. Or this is the other way around. Like you hurt their feelings and that's why they disappeared. Um, when they come back around, oh, I'm hearing, yeah, they came back in your, during your season for some of you, during retrograde. Holy shit, okay. Um, it's gonna be bumpy. Ooh, I also just heard bumpy, like on the vagina. What the hell? Oh, honey, stand clear of that. No, 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 those are razor bumps. Okay, I'm just seeing razor bumps. Those are razor bumps, okay. Oh, <laughs> the first time you did it? Okay, I get it. That's what was rough. Everything else was good, but the razor bumps. Like, someone had just shaved, like, two days prior. Oh, yes, honey. Okay. Weird. I don't know why that popped in my head. Like, I hope that wasn't too much information, but, um, that's, that was, that resonated for somebody. That happened to somebody. A water sign and another water sign two water signs bumping and grinding yep that shit was bumpy honey <laughs> that shit was bumpy <laughs> oh my god okay anyways um if you feel like it was a it start off like rocky um it's gonna get better i get like september you guys okay during virgo season um late august virgo season okay um so, yeah, uh, the person that's coming in, though, yeah. For some of you, I am getting it's an earth sign. I'm hearing Taurus, very specifically. Others of you who are dealing with water, I just keep hearing Scorpio. And others of you dealing with fire, I hear Leo. Air sign, Aquarius. Okay? Um, I know. Those are the signs I got for each element. I know. I, don't, I should probably do that with every reading that I do now. I think I should. Um... Those were the energies that were really coming through. I had all the elements, but just certain signs, okay? I'll probably do that from now on. But, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know it was super short. Uh, I'm not, I don't typically do the readings like this, so I apologize if anyone's, like, offended that I didn't pull cards. But I have a lot going on. I really can't explain what's going on because it's confidential. But, yes, yes. You guys enjoy your weekend. I love you. You have a wonderful summertime, baby. I will be back next week with the who's in love with you readings. Who's secretly in love with you, baby, all right? So tune in, all right? Check out your complimentary personal readings down below. They are the first six, seven links. I highly recommend the top two links. Um, they've been all checked out and everything, and they're free. So all you do is just enter your birthday at those websites, and you'll be on your way. Love you guys. Namaste.